Since we can't regenerate fossil fuels, we must find renewable and sustainable alternatives like biofuels, fuel made from living organisms. And the best source of biofuels is likely floating right in this pond. Plants produce starch, which can be used to make biofuels. Here's how the process works. Starch is a long chain of glucose sugars. Enzymes break down the chain and yeast ferment the sugars into ethanol. The ethanol is then blended with petroleum to be put into your car. In the US, corn is a major source of starch for biofuels, but it has many drawbacks. For instance, we use corn for human animal feed. So growing corn creates a dilemma. Should we use corn for food or for fuel? In addition, corn requires a lot of fertilizer and irrigation, which is costly, both economically and environmentally. Because of these problems, we want to find an alternative source of starch that is renewable and sustainable. Here in the Lamb Lab, we believe that duckweed is the answer. Duckweed is the smallest known flowering plant. It's a common aquatic plant that floats on top of the water surface, kind of like a small lily pad. You've probably seen duckweed form these large green carpets that just take over your local pond or lake in the hot summertime. Different strains of the same species often look alike. Take for instance, these two strains. But how would you tell them apart just by looking at them? Well, it's really difficult. That's why we compare differences in their DNA. We use techniques called PCR and electrophoresis to distinguish the two strains. Let's go check out my results. To visualize DNA, we use a stain that glows under ultraviolet light. Hit the lights! These pink bands are DNA molecules. Each one represents a short segment of the plant's DNA. The position of the band in each lane indicates the size of the segment. As you can see, these two strains have different sizes. With a reliable way to identify each strain, we can screen our duckweed collection in the lab to find an optimal strain for biofuel production, one that has a high starch content and a fast growth rate. The next step is to create a demonstration pipeline for duckweed. We want to show from start to finish how you grow duckweed and convert it into biofuels in a sustainable manner. To do this, we grow duckweed on a pond that receives fertilizer runoff from a nearby plant nursery. The duckweed in the pond absorb the excess nutrients and use them to grow. We harvest the duckweed using a motorized pond skimmer. After drying the duckweed, starch is extracted and converted into ethanol using existing methods. Ultimately, we hope to bring this renewable and sustainable technology to other sites like farms and wastewater facilities.